are there any situations with clients where you have sort of long term contracts and are there any situations where um, you're you hire them sort of candidates that are not on the executive level, let's say they want a little bit lower management or a long term contract where you're just you're there. They come to you anytime they need a new employee on any level. Um, they come to you Is that any um, any situations like that. Yes, we like clients like that. And we had them from time to time over years. I just finished one. Actually, we've had for like three years that started from scratch. Uh, they had no one on the ground. Well, it started one person from the United States and, and they've grown to uh, about 45 people. Uh, and so and yes, that happens. And those are really good programs for us, uh, the service provider and for that client. Because we become very intimately involved in their business. We really understand who they are, what they do, how they do what they do, the types of people they really want to build their corporate culture around. And I think they get the best out of us when clients use us that way. Uh, definitely when they use multiple, even, even just beyond one search, just having multiple search with the same uh, service provider is valuable to the client. And I would encourage uh, users of uh, professional services, learn how to best use the professional services, right? Think about this. If you have a lawyer that you're using a lot for whatever purpose, why would you be switching around? Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Unless there are expertises that you need. I mean, you, you probably, you know, just like accounting and bookkeeping and stuff, you don't want to be switching those too often. So why not do the same thing with your, your consultants, your coaches, your executive search professionals? Let them get to know you. You know them. They know you. You build a trust. You And also there's another hidden value that uh, a lot of people don't understand is if I'm doing business with you, and let's say and I'm going to have multiple projects with you, just let's suppose that you even reveal to me confidentially and everything we do is confidential or we'd be out of business. So you don't have to worry about that, Right. But you even tell me, listen, I don't have this search project now, but I'm anticipating in my plans, I'm going to need to hire someone like this or like that three months from now, six months from now, a nine months from now, whatever. If I know something's coming, we can do what's called a loose search or a, a casual search or be on the lookout, you know, knowing that they don't want to hire them now, but I know they're going to be needing this type of person because timing is everything. Because you have to realize just because the client wants you, they want to hire right now. Maybe that right person you need is not available right now. Maybe they're available a month earlier because we found them, or maybe they're available two or three or four or six months later, right? So the timing doesn't always match up perfectly. However, you can minimize that dilemma by sharing with your search professionals, hey, these are the kinds of people I'm looking for. Maybe they don't go under contract right now, but I'm going to reveal that to you that I will be looking for this. So you can kind of keep it on your radar. That's helpful. I think it's helpful for the search professional. It's helpful for the client to give them a better service. It's something very easy to do, I think.